Hi, I'm Fernando Pereira. I am a professor in the Department of Computer Science of the Federal University of Minas Gerais in Brazil, where I do research on compilers. Today, I will tell you about LLVM, which is one of the most important frameworks to the design and development of compilers used today. And if you are taking this course, probably you've already heard about LLVM. In this class, we will try to define more clearly what it is. LLVM is an acronym for Low Level Virtual Machine. From this name, we could, in principle, believe that LLVM is a virtual machine, similar, for instance, to the Java virtual machine. Yet, this would not be a very accurate definition of LLVM. Indeed, if historically LLVM started with the goal of being a virtual machine of sorts, this goal does not reflect what LLVM is today. Rather, I think it would be fair to say that LLVM is a compilation infrastructure. That means that LLVM supports the development of compilers. And many compilers indeed use LLVM, meaning that they are implemented on top of the LLVM infrastructure. We have, of course, C and C++, which were the original languages compiled with LLVM. But then we have a whole lot of other programming languages that use LLVM presently. Like Julia, for instance, which is a programming language that receives much attention in high-performance computing circles, allowing expressiveness and performance. And along these lines of expressivity and performance, we also have Rust, which is a systems programming language developed by Mozilla and today widely adopted. Another example of a programming language that's compiled with LLVM is Swift. This language is used to develop apps for the iOS and has been fettered by Chris Latner, who was the creator of LLVM. Indeed, LLVM was created in 2003 by Chris Latner. LLVM was born as a tool that Latner used while working on his PhD dissertation. At that time, Latner was advised by Vikram Advi, who is a professor at the University of Illinois at Urbana. A paper describing it was published in CGO in 2004 and remains as of today the most cited paper of that conference. CGO stands for the International Symposium Co-Generation and Optimization. Anyways, continuing with our quest to answer this question of what is LLVM, we had said that it's also an infrastructure. As an infrastructure, LLVM offers much support to the development of compilers and runtime environments. This support emerges, for instance, as a set of tools. These tools include front-ends to parse programming languages, middle-ends to analyze and optimize programs that use the LLVM intermediate representation, and back-ends to produce machine code out of those programs. But perhaps the most important trait of LLVM is its intermediate representation. This representation, or IR as we call it, is a kind of low-level program language. By translating other languages to this IR, compiler engineers can benefit from all the analysis and optimizations already available in LLVM. This combination of tools and intermediate representation leads to a very typical compiler design formed by three distinct modules, a front-end, a middle-end, and a back-end. The front-end takes a program language and converts it to the intermediate representation. For instance, in this course, we will be mostly using Clang as a front-end. Clang takes a C file, parses it, and then converts it to the LVMIR. In this case, I am representing it as a file with the double L extension. The middle end is the part of the compiler that will process this intermediate representation file. It can do various things with that file. It can analyze it, for instance, to find vulnerabilities or opportunities for optimizations. Something important to notice is that the middle end takes a program in the LVMIR and it might produce another program also in the LVMIR. In LLVM, the middle end is represented by a tool called OPT, 
that's short for optimizer, but OPT runs analysis too. These are compilation passes that do not really transform the program. Rather, they produce some useful information about that program. And then finally, we have the backend. The backend is the part of the compiler that produces machine code. In LLVM, this tool is called LLC. It can translate the LLVM IR to several different target architectures. In this course, we will be using x86 as the target architecture in all the examples that we shall make. So that was uh, our first lecture on LLVM. We had learned a bit about what it is. Next class, we shall see how to install and run some of its tools. Till there, you feel free to write me with questions and comments.